हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर वी नीड टू यूज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म टू फाइंड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द सिग्नल नाउ लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेयर x ऑफ n इज गिवन एज u ऑफ माइनस n वी नो दैट z ट्रांसफॉर्म of u of n we can write it as z divided by z minus 1 with roc magnitude of z greater than 1 in place of u of n they have given u of minus n therefore we will get z transform of u of minus n as z divided by z minus 1 in this equation we need to replace z with 1 by z so since it is u of minus n we need to replace z with 1 by z so if we replace z with 1 by z we will get 1 by z divided by 1 by z minus 1 so the z transform of u of minus n will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z with roc magnitude of z greater than 1 now let us see the second problem where x of n is given as u of minus n plus 1 so for this problem let us make this equation similar to u of minus n so that's why what we will do we will write x of n as u of if we take minus common we will get n minus 1 here we can make use of two properties first one we know u of minus n if we perform z transform we will get 1 divided by 1 minus z so this we understood from first problem so along with this let us use time shift property it states that x of n minus m for this if we perform z transform at that case we will get z to the power of minus m x of z so we need to make use of these two properties so here in place of x of z we can use this formula and we will multiply with z to the power of minus m so here uh, minus m is nothing but minus 1 in this problem so we can write z transform of u of minus of n minus 1 as z to the power of minus 1 into x of z is 1 divided by 1 minus z so this is nothing but 1 divided by z into 1 minus z with roc magnitude of z will be greater than 0 and it will be less than 1 now let us take x of n is equal to u of minus n minus 2 similar to second problem here we can solve the third problem so let us write this equation as x of n is equal to u of if we take minus common it will be n plus 2 so here again we need to use two properties u of minus n if we perform z transform we will get 1 by 1 minus z again we will use time shift property in time shift property x of n plus m if we perform z transform we will get z to the power of m x of z again here in place of x of z we need to write this 1 by 1 minus z and in place of z to the power of uh, m we need to write z to the power of 2 therefore z transform of u of minus of n plus 2 we can write it as z to the power of 2 into 1 divided by 1 minus z so we can write this as z square 
divided by 1 minus z. From this equation, if we take minus as common, we can write that as z square divided by z minus 1. So from this, we can easily write ROC. So ROC will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1. Now let us take x of n is equal to e of n plus 2. So similar to previous problem, we can solve this problem. Again, we can use the property of u of n z transform if we perform on this we will get z divided by z minus 1 again we can use time shift property which we have used in problem number 3 so we can write z transform of u of n plus 2 will be equal to z to the power of m it is z to the power of 2 into z divided by z minus 1 so this is nothing but z cube divided by z minus 1. So here ROC will be magnitude of z greater than 1. This is about problems based on properties of z transform. We will solve some more problem in next video. Hope you have understood this topic. Thank you.